In this video, we're going to be going over how to view and export video. So the first thing we're going to do is go up to the top and select video management. Then let's select cameras. So now this will bring up a list of all of the cameras on your system. If you'd like to select one, go ahead and double click. It'll bring you up to a page that includes a live view of the camera here, as well as the hardware that's assigned to that camera. So you'll see in this camera view, there's a door here. That's the East employee entrance. There's also a motion detector and a Knox box in this camera view. You'll also see the event playback configuration here. There's pre and post. Pre is the seconds before the event occurred on and post is the seconds after the event occurred on. So now let's go, let's close this tab and then let's go up to views. So here you can create custom views to easily view multiple cameras at the same time. So let's do add a new view. And I'm going to name it test. So let's go to the view designer tab down at the bottom here. You'll see that there's multiple templates that have already been created. I'm going to go ahead and select the one by five template. And then you can just select the drop downs here to populate these boxes. So I want my main entrance to be this one. And then I'm just going to populate these with some of my other cameras. So now that we have that view created, we can go ahead and hit save down at the bottom. And then I'm going to go ahead and close that tab. So now that we've got that view created, let's go up to the video player. So as you can see, you can select a drop down menu here and you can pick an individual camera or a group of cameras like the one we just created. So let's select the test view we just created and then hit OK. So as you can see, it populated with all the cameras that I filled and the spots that I wanted. So now let's say I want to view an individual camera. Let's we can go ahead and hit the gear up here and do the set camera. And I'm going to pick the warehouse and then I'm going to hit OK. So now we just have a view of the warehouse camera uh, live. So let's say I don't want to view live video. Let's say I want to look back at an event that occurred. Let's hit the gear again, select mode and then select playback. So I want to view today at 2.30. 30 and 2.31. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. So now I've got a clip here of everything that happened in this warehouse area from 2.30 and 30 seconds to 2.31. So if we hit play here, we can see the normal happenings in our warehouse. We can also speed it up or slow it down. You can pause and play. You also have the functionality to export video. So if I just want this entire clip to be exported, I can go ahead and just hit export clip. And then I can just save it to my computer locally. You also have the functionality to take a snapshot. So say, for example, these two yahoos at the beginning are stealing this dog. It's my dog. I don't want him to steal it but I've got them on video. So I can go ahead and take a snapshot and save it. And now if I pull that up, I have them, I have a snapshot of the two dog mappers.